Hello everyone and welcome back to number 10 of my Draw With Guy videos. So each week, each time I show you how to draw a different character from one of my books. And this week it's Jolly Otter from the Dylan books. It's his birthday in this book and Dylan has baked him a delicious chocolate and banana cake. But unfortunately it smelled so delicious he ate it all up by mistake. And so all he had to give Jolly Otter was the tin. But luckily, Jolly Otter is delighted because that means he can have a cake baking party and they make the delicious chocolate and banana cake. So it took a lot of research making this recipe. There's a recipe in the back of the book with the editor, Alison Green. He had to eat a lot of chocolate and banana cake, all part of the job. And uh, I love, I like this book because it's got a rather nice, shiny, sparkly cover. That's Dylan the Baker, and he's in all the Dylan books. He's also in Dylan the Doctor, Dylan the Shopkeeper, and Dylan the Teacher. So, Jolly Otter lives by the river. I'm going to be using this um, brush pen. But use anything you've got. Pencils fine. I just I'm just doing it with this because it shows up nicely. This nice black line. So I start off with his hat. Now he wears a big woolly yellow bobble cap, bobble hat. So let's draw the brim first. A nice curving line like that. And we can do the edges of the bottom of the hat like that. Another line going over to follow this one. And then the top of the bobble hat. And he's got a yellow pom-pom at the top. So there's lots of lines coming off the pom-pom. And then just to make it look woolly, put a few lines sticking up away, away from the middle. There we are. That's a lovely warm woolly hat for an otter. Any otter, otter will be proud of that. So now let's draw his face. So a line coming around like that. And now they're going out a bit and then coming back in again. So there's a this line coming up around around his face a bit. Now as to his eyes, he wears his hat quite low, so I'm going to put his eyes quite low, quite near the brim, one there, one there. And he's got a big, shiny black nose, so to a triangle, curves round underneath. Now to make it look shiny, I'm going to colour it in, but we're going to have a jagged white line in the middle where the light hits it. There we go, like that. There we go, there's the shine on it. Now let's give him a nice big smile, because he's very jolly. Although in America, he's called Oscar Otter. So don't use the word jolly much in America. But he is jolly. I don't use the word much either, but he definitely is jolly. So okay, so now here's his face. Now let's have his arms, he's sticking his arms out to the side. So line coming around like that, and his paws, one, two, three. Line coming back. Let's have a his body going down like that, and then let's have another his arms coming out the other side as well. Line coming out like that, and keep the width about the same. Maybe going a bit thinner as you get towards the end. And one, two, three. Lines going round past each other for his paws. And let's have his tummy sticking out a bit like that. And this is his back coming down. Now his legs. He's going to do a slightly bent line for his legs. I think he's bent, he bends his knees a little bit as he stands. One there, one about there. And his foot coming out from that. And his paws, toes, one, two, three. And a line for his other foot. About the same width, maybe a bit thinner as it's, bit, as it's further away. And line coming out about the same level with that one. And one, two, three. There we go. Now we need to do a little tail for him coming out the back. He's got a flappy tail. Just tail coming around like that. And there we have Jolly Otter. Draw some lines in to make him look a bit hairier. Lines going, these ones can go along his arms. A few along his tail, not too many. A few coming over the edge. Now in the book and outside now, I don't know if you can hear it, it's all starting to get very stormy and rainy. It's 
So he lives by the river. Oh, let's put some shadow in. It's a nice squiggly line for shadow. It's loose. It says it's raining, and it rains in the book as well. Let's draw some line. So this is him by the riverbank. This line is but the line of the river. Now, let's put some grass here as well. Bent bit of grass there. Spiky bits of grass coming up. A few bits of grass. Let's draw some rain in. Rain's in the book. There are lots of lines all in line with each other. Don't do them over his face, but just do them a few dotted around all in the same line. Oh, it's all cosy when it's raining. Dark and rainy outside and windy. And in the book it's like this, actually, so it's good to do it now. In, the, in his boat's all warm and cosy inside. The glow to it. It's all wet outside. Let's show the rain on the water. So it's just a squashed circle as the rain hits the water to make a little ripple. Some lines coming from the ripple. Now as these squashed circles get smaller as they go towards the back, that can be the, the water going into the distance, into the mist. Maybe it just gets lost in the mist. It's the rain hitting each ripple in the middle. Some ripples. I love watching ripples on water when it's raining. There we are. There's the water. Now, there are also some willow trees near where he lives. And these are nice to draw because they come in lines. So just draw a few loose lines coming down and then off them, two nice thin leaves hanging down from these lines. Keep them nice and loose, wavy lines. As they follow this sort of the lines of the willow, the weeping willows, as they reap down next to the river. They often like to grow by rivers. And these lovely lines hanging down. Could be quite loose with this. Just make them nice and wavy as they come down. Maybe they're blowing a little bit in the breeze, not all straight. And there we have Jolly Otter. Now let's put a bit more grass in here. I'd love to see your pictures because you're an artist. Um, so if you post them online, just add the hashtag Draw with Guy, if you put them on Twitter or Insta, and I'll be able to see them. Well done. See you next time.